afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. You know, if you're a Toyota Tacoma enthusiast or just aware of the new trucks and things coming out, then obviously you know we have a 2024 Toyota Tacoma coming that is a brand new redesign. And there's a few things that I hope Toyota changes or fixes in this new truck. The old one, it's pretty much perfect, but there are a handful of things that I hope they take care of. Number one, let's take a look right inside the cab, and it is the driver's side grab handle. What's missing right here? We've got one over there, but we don't have one over here. You know, there is an aftermarket version that you can get, but quite frankly, it's a bit of a bear to put in. Does the job when it's done, but the install's not a whole lot of fun. Now, I know there have been pictures and things out there, but I haven't really seen whether or not Toyota is going to give us the driver's side grab handle. I don't recall ever seeing it. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think it's there. Next up, acceleration lag. For me, probably the biggest problem with the Toyota Tacoma. And what I'm talking about, and I'm sure you've experienced this if you own a Tacoma or have ever driven one for any period of time, I'm talking about when you step on the gas and there's a lag. There is a pause between when it seems like what you're telling the truck to do by hitting the accelerator and it actually responds. Of course, there's a fix for that, the pedal commander, but I hope the new truck does not have that issue. In other words, they get rid of the lag. It's gonna be very interesting to see with this new four-cylinder turbo, whether or not it's instantaneous. You know, I drove a Ford Ranger, it's been a few years ago now, but it still had a bit of a lag in the gas. You know, I've always been sensitive to that when I jump in the truck, I'll give it a little extra oomph to see if it goes. That four-cylinder Ford Ranger eh, was still kind of a dog, and I hope that Toyota doesn't give us the same thing. Next up, and I haven't really experienced this problem, but I get so many comments about it that I'm sure it is a valid concern, and that is the shifting of the automatic transmission. Seems to hunt gears, never stays where it needs to be, hardly ever rides in sixth gear. Now, I think this is a problem that is more uh, predominant in an area that has a lot of hills and stuff. That's where I hear about it the most, or people that have commented have told me they experience it the most. And I think the reason that I don't experience it is because I live in a valley. I'm in deep south Texas in the Rio Grande Valley, and we don't really have a lot of big hills here. It's pretty much flat. So I can't discount that it exists because I hear so much about it. Hopefully, with this new eight-speed transmission, Toyota is going to take care of that. I can't imagine that they won't, but we'll have to actually drive one to see, I guess. Next up, speaking of transmissions, the manual transmission. You know, I had a 2020 Tacoma. It was a TRD off-road. I ordered it specifically with the manual, waited five months for it to come, and then was very disappointed. I expected a modern manual transmission, something relatively smooth. Yeah, I know it's a truck, but just because it's a truck doesn't mean it can't have a nice, silky, smooth transmission in it, like the Honda Civic over here has. It seems that Toyota hasn't done anything to improve it. It's probably the same as it had been for years and years. And frankly, I'm very surprised that Toyota is even continuing with a manual transmission. I don't look for it to survive throughout this whole next fourth generation model, but hopefully they have perfected it a little bit more or at least brought it up to standards in things like the Civic Manual. I'd buy another one if they actually made it fun to drive. No more clunk, no more reverse in the wrong place, just crazy little things. Hopefully, Toyota's new manual takes care of that. The bad thing about it is, is that there are so few of them, and I'm sure that's going to continue, that you're not going to be able to just go to the lot and test drive one. You'd actually have to buy one before you could experience it. We shall see. Next up. Increased storage. 
It's another complaint that I hear about a lot on the channel is the lack of storage inside the Toyota Tacoma. Now, there is still some in here, don't get me wrong. We have the glove box and we have some behind the seat storage and we even have a little bit underneath. But Toyota has been taking things away. They took away the cubbies in the bed. One of the coolest features I think that the, the Tacoma had, I don't know why they took it away, there's still room for it. In my 2020, I actually cut the hole in the side of the bed just like they would have had they manufactured it that way and put that little cubby back in. I hope they give us something like that again. This is something else that I have not really seen in the new Tacoma. You know, they have those storage bins. It's an option you can get that kind of take up part of the bed and go in on the sides. It seems to me that they got rid of the storage so they could charge extra money and push these aftermarket type storage bins. Hopefully, they give it back to us. Now, I have kind of a bonus picky one here, and that is seat poles in the back seats. You know, this is just a little pet peeve of mine. You know, we used to have them in the back, and then for some reason, like the Cubbies, Toyota decided to remove them, just not to provide those straps. And I'm sure it's probably a money-saving endeavor. And I'm talking about these. No, it didn't come with these lovely green straps that I have now. I had to put them in. And the funny thing is, is even though Toyota took them out, took them away from us, they still left the threaded holes back here so you could actually put one in yourself. I like that. I, it was a fun little project to do, just a, a cup punch and a, a little rivet type thing back here. Pretty simple to do. You can buy cord anywhere. It just makes it easier to pull the seats up and down. And I know you can grab it from the side, but as I've mentioned in other videos, my problem in doing that is putting lateral force on these little hinges down here. I mean, they're just a thin metal. They're really not much to them. It's gonna cause wear over time. I don't really like doing that, and I much prefer that it has the poles like we have now. And of course, I put one on each side. These are just a few little things, and I know that one is relatively picky, but the transmissions, the acceleration, those are things that Toyota needs to take care of to give us a redesigned 2024 Tacoma that actually seems better than what we currently have right now. People are already not happy about the engine setup with that four-cylinder turbo. Time will tell. It's going to be very interesting to see. Leave a comment. Let me know if any of these things matter to you. I'd be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.